who would have thought Herbert Kilpin? Mm -hmm. Remember speaking to the author of the book? Yes. The book has now been turned, as I said, into a film, which uh, I think premieres this coming weekend. That'd be good. Uh, we have uh, both author and director of the film available to speak to us, Robert Turnieri and Jared Wilson. Welcome both to Keys and Grey. Hi, guys. I was slightly concerned when yeah. I said that. I was told the, um, the reception wasn't very good. It's perfect as far as I'm concerned. Yes. So, so, Robert, talk to us about why and how your book first came about. Um, it took 10 years. Um, I read uh, the front page of the local paper 10 years ago talking about the founder of AC Milan, who was a local lad. So in between family and work, it took a long time to get the book together. We uh, launched it at AC Milan last year and we brought Jared and his film crew out with us and they started filming the documentary about Kilpin and we carried on when we brought the Middle East back with us to Nottingham. Jared, what made you, what convinced you this would make a good movie? Well, firstly, on a personal level, the story's amazing. And I yeah. used to walk Herbert Kilpin's old house every day and our previous office was next door to the place he worked. And I just couldn't <laughs> believe it. Um, so that, that was the case. And secondly, we, you know, we, we love Nottingham and we love our European links and things like this. You know, Nottingham's currently bidding for European capital of culture and links like this... Um, are really important, I think, to the city, especially in the post-Brexit era, to yeah. you know, to just you know, work together. Robert, have you reminded the uh, the supporters of Milan that uh, their football club was founded by a guy from Nottingham, or, or, or did did they need to be pushed in that direction? They seem to have embraced you. Yeah, they knew about it before we did. To be fair, because the gentleman who found his bones in, in a cemetery in Milan about twenty years ago. Um, he arranged for the club to reinter them in the Monumental Cemetery in Milan. And after that, Kilpin was inducted into the Milan City Hall of Fame. So there's a huge banner with Kilpin's image on it on the San Siro, on the Curva Sud. So he's become a bit of a cult hero to the, to, the, to the fans in Milan. So it started off there and they see what we're doing now in his home city. And they've embraced that as well. So we've got the three gentlemen who feature in the film. They're coming back over for the premiere as well. Jared, how easy has it been to turn this from print to film and how much fun have you had doing it? Well, uh, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, we've worked with some really interesting people, you know, um, some famous footballers that are in there. Mark Haightley, who was actually born and yeah. brought up in Nottingham um, and played for AC Milan. Luther Blissett, who, um, who also played locally for Mansfield Town as well as playing for AC Milan and obviously Watford. Um, and exploring Milan and, you know, AC Milan have been really good and opened the doors to us for that. Um, it's been an incredible journey. I mean, mm. I, I would say the, book's really in, the, the book really inspired this, but the book and the film are quite different. It's a very small world, Jared. As you speak, Mark Haightley is with us here. In Qatar. In Qatar. <laughs> <working> <laughs> <for> <laughs> <Yes>. I think <laughs> he's coming to Milan with us for the premiere at Fix next month. Fantastic. Well, oh, that'd be great. very much uh, wish, wish you all well with the project. Robert, did you imagine when you started out researching and writing, this is where it may end up? Nope. One word answer. <laughs> <laughs> and when is, it, when is the premiere, Jared? What date? So it's preview screenings at the moment, actually. Okay. But the, um, there's one this Sunday in Nottingham, and then we're taking it to the Fix um, Festival in Milan, which is the International Sports and Television Festival, and that's on the 20th of November. Uh -huh. and then after 18th of November. 18th of November, right. sorry. <laughs> and after that, we're looking for further distribution opportunities. <laughs> well done, Robert. A man yeah. for detail, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, all the best. Yeah, good luck with it all. Thanks Great to much. talk again. Great to talk we'll to you. Glad to have been part of it. Thanks, Jared and Thank Robert. You. Thank you both. Um, well, there we are. Um, They're good lads. Yeah, that was fantastic. Very much so. Yeah, and, really uh, nice. Wish them success with their uh, film.